everyone today in this video we would like to talk about average velocity of a particle in simple harmonic motion as well as average speed right so before going to that let us first identify what do you mean by speed and velocity then we can talk about averages right so let's try What is a simple harmonic motion? Let us try to understand. What is an oscillatory motion? And there should be a kind of a position called mean position, extreme position, and interim position. From mean position to extreme position, displacement is maximum. Similarly, from mean position to interim position, also displacement is maximum. That maximum displacement is called amplitude. So if a body starts, say for example, from extreme position, it has to cross main position, go to interim position, and it has to come back, again cross the main position, and come back to extreme position. That is the completion of one oscillation. That's the meaning of one oscillation. When this one oscillation is done, I want to calculate what is an average speed and average velocity is. So before going to that, let me write equations for, say, how do you represent displacement? Displacement is represented with y. When you are at a mean position, displacement is zero. When you are at an extreme position or interim position, displacement is maximum, that is amplitude. I will write the same for all other equations also. Density. We have derived equations for velocity as v equal to omega into root of a square minus y square. We have derived this. You can check it, uh, this derivation in the other videos of this chapter. So at mean position, what do you mean by mean position? Displacement is zero. If you write displacement equal to zero, velocity becomes omega into root of a square minus zero square. That's omega a. That's maximum. Extreme position, y equal to amplitude itself. So velocity becomes zero. So though this may not be exactly necessary to solve this question, but I just want you to be aware of that so that learning further becomes easy for you. Acceleration of a particle in simple harmonic motion is minus omega square y, where y is displacement, omega is angle to velocity. So at main position, y equal to zero, that implies acceleration is also equal to zero. At extreme or interim position, y equal to a, so acceleration equal to minus omega square a, maximum negative indicates that acceleration and displacement are in opposite direction. Taking these basic things into consideration, if you further write, what is average speed is, say for example, we want to write what is average speed is, let me write here. The speed in an oscillation when it completes an oscillation is total distance traveled total time. An oscillation is completed as I told you, it starts from extreme, goes to main, one amplitude, main to interim, one more amplitude, interim back to main position, one more amplitude. Mean position to extreme, one more amplitude. So the total distance it travels is amplitude plus amplitude plus amplitude plus amplitude. That is four tenths of amplitude. Time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period of oscillatory motion. So its value is equal to uh, 4a by time period, right? So we can write the average speed as uh, 4a by time. You can express that in many other ways say for example that just may not be uh, say for example we have proved velocity maximum as omega a omega a can be written like 2 pi by t into amplitude that's the maximum so you can write time period as 
2 pi by a divided by v maximum and you can express this time period here in this format if it is required if a question demands you can write in the place of time period 2 pi a by v maximum so by will come to the numerator a and a get cancels 2 and 2 will get cancels so it becomes 2 into v maximum by pi 2 into v maximum by pi can be written like 22 by 7 7 comes to the numerator so this is 2 11 so 7 v maximum by 11 these are all just extensions anything is possible you can write in any of these uh, formats so that is average speed so and if you want to write average velocity the difference is here the total distance but here total displacement when one oscillation is completed you start from a place go and come to the same place so your displacement is zero time taken is time period zero by something is equal to zero so average velocity is zero whereas average speed can have a certain value so these are the basic things of uh, oscillatory motion you can try many of the other uh, things like you can write v maximum v a maximum is how much v maximum is something like a omega we have derived this yeah acceleration maximum is omega square a so one a can be cancelled one omega also can be cancelled it is one by omega that is t by two pi like that you can write any of the combinations like v square maximum by a maximum something like the many possible things i will just write this value v square maximum will become omega a is v maximum square of that by a maximum is omega square a so omega square a square by omega square a so on a also in cancel it is equal to amplitude itself like that people can play with questions and ask you different things you'll be able to answer all of them once if you know the basics of this right thank you so much